Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So before we start, I want you to take a deep breath in. We can't see air, but it definitely moves. So over here, I have a helium balloon. And you know what happens if we let go of a helium balloon, if it wasn't still tied up. It would rise into the sky. And this reminds me of an awesome day. It's called Ascension Day. And we're celebrating it today, this Thursday. What do you think ascension means? Ascension means rising. And how does this link to Jesus? Jesus rose on Ascension Day up into heaven. So let's take a look at that. Luke chapter 24, verse 46 to 53. And said to them, This it is written, that the Christ should suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witness of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them, and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple blessing God. Acts chapter 1 verse 4 And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me. Acts chapter 1, verse 8 to 11. But you will receive, receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. And many have said these things. As they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven, as he went, behold, Two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same form as you saw him go into heaven. Amen. Amen. When Jesus finished all his work here on earth, he gathered his disciples and he took them to a special place and then he ascended into heaven. So now recapping what Sapang read for us. When Jesus ascended into heaven, I'm sure that he knew that his disciples and us would feel anxious and worried knowing that we'd no longer be able to be with Jesus, no longer be able to seek his advice and be led by him. And so God gave us the Holy Spirit, which allows us to still be connected with him. The Holy Spirit is God all around us. God who we might not necessarily always be able to see, hear or feel. But God can always see and hear us. He can even hear our prayers that we don't say out loud. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, our lives are filled more with joy, with love, with all the other fruits of the Spirit. And so God is able to use us. And therefore we become more useful, just like the balloon that gets filled with air. Our fruits of the Spirit this week is peace. So when Jesus ascended and God gave us the Holy Spirit, it gave us a sense of peace, knowing that even when Jesus can't be with us, God is forever with us. And peace is a feeling of calmness. It's a feeling knowing that no matter what's happening, God will always help us and make sure that everything turns out to be fine. What's the one thing that you're not letting go of? The one thing that you're allowing to worry you, to give you anxiety? The one thing that might be keeping you up at night when you're trying to sleep. Secondly, remember that if God gave us the Holy Spirit, that means that he cares for us, even when Jesus left. That means that God still cares for us, and he still longs to love us, and he loves us every single day. And so, God has already overcome the battles, which we heard two weeks ago of my lesson in joy. Jesus has already overcome and defeated anything that we are facing. And with that, we should know that God is 
with that, we should have confidence in God and have peace in our hearts, knowing that God truly is the overcomer and he loves and cares for us. So this week, I want you to be aware when you get anxious or nervous. And I want you to say out loud, peace enter into my life. Say it with me. Peace enter into my life. Let's say it once so loud that even the neighbors can hear and can feel God's peace. Peace enter into my lives. And just a recap, we've been doing this with the children um, for Children's Church because they're following the same topic of the fruits of the Spirit with us. So it goes, the fruit of the Spirit, the first one was joy. Then it was love last week, which was Dimple's topic. And this week it's peace. So can you say it with me? The fruit of the Spirit is joy, love, and peace. Once more for those neighbors who are inquisitive. The fruit of the Spirit is joy, love, and peace. And something for us to be aware of. When Jesus was here on earth, he wasn't able to be with everyone all the time. But now that we have the Holy Spirit, God is able to be with everyone at any time. He even hears our prayers that we don't say out loud. So know that God cares for you and he's going to use your life for amazing things. Let's go. Let me untie this balloon and let's go see it rise. So remember that Jesus, just like this balloon, he ascended into heaven. Let's watch the balloon go. Remember that even though Jesus isn't with us now, the Holy Spirit is. Let's say a prayer. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for sending Jesus and that he could do so many amazing works here on earth that spread your love to everywhere, Lord. I thank you that even when Jesus rose and he ascended into heaven, that you still cared about us, Lord, and you gave us the Holy Spirit so that we could always be in connection with you, God. We thank you for loving us and we pray that you can just continue to use us, Lord, because we know that we are useful because you filled us with the Holy Spirit. Help us to live our lives for you, God. Amen.